Do you know the real reason why it may feel like a meal is not complete without having some sort of sweet dessert at the end? There is an actual biological reason for why that is, and it has to do with the scientific makeup of sugar and its effects on the human body. You may be asking yourself now, how is this often greedy thirst for sweets affecting our health? Well, let's find out. What's the deal with sugar? Sugar is essential and in fact needed for our cells to survive and thrive. And that's not inherently bad. In the words of Dr. Vera Novak of Harvard Medical School, the brain is dependent on sugar as its main fuel. Our bodies process the carbohydrates in our foods and turn the sugar into energy. Interestingly, glucose is the primary source of energy for every cell in the entire human body. Said in another way, sugars are the gas to our body's intricate machine engines. But where the sweetness in our foods come from is the key to better health. Too much of a good thing can ultimately turn it bad. Let's return to the basics. Sugar is an umbrella term for a type of carbohydrate. Natural sugars are found in the usual foods we consume every day, from our common fruits and vegetables to daily dairy products like milk and cheese. Types of natural sugars include sucrose, most common in baked goods, as well as fructose, galactose, lactose, and maltose. More specifically, fructose, glucose, and sucrose are natural sugars found in fruits and some vegetables. Lactose is a type of natural sugar found in dairy products and maltose is a natural sugar found in germinating grains like corn, barley and rice. Carbohydrates are classified into two subtypes of sugar. Monosaccharides or simple sugars consisting of one molecule and disaccharides consisting of two molecules. Examples of simple sugars are glucose, fructose and galactose. The major type of disaccharides are sucrose, consisting of one glucose molecule and one fructose molecule, lactose, consisting of one glucose molecule and one galactose molecule, and maltose, consisting of two glucose molecules. Natural sugars in fruits and vegetables have nutritional benefits in moderation as opposed to the added sugars in our everyday processed foods, like donuts, candy, bread or soda. Knowing when foods contain added sugar is essential to better health. Natural sugars in fruit, for example, are digested slower in our bodies and therefore the energy they generate lasts longer. These sugars are not linked to negative health outcomes since the amount is quite modest and is packaged with fiber and other important nutrients. Added sugars are metabolized by our bodies in the same way as natural sugars are. But no matter the type of sugar, they are added calories that our bodies do not need. Potential health problems caused by too much sugar in our diets include high blood pressure, insulin resistance, cavities, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. So why does something that can be bad for our health feel so good to our bodies and taste so delicious. We must first learn more about the brain on sugar to find out. Sugar and the brain. Our brains are literally hardwired to want and consume sugary foods as a result of the very fact that they create energy. Why? Our human ancestors millennia ago were scavengers that needed energy from natural sources in order to survive and pass on their DNA to future generations. As a result, they evolved to enjoy their sweet tastes. Ingesting sugary foods initiates the reward response in the brain's cerebral cortex. This is also called the mesolimpic dopamine system. This reward system reinforces the original behavior causing us to want more. Therefore, it's completely normal and natural to want another piece of cake after we've just finished the first one. So many of the foods we eat in the 21st century have added sugar. So it is quite probable that most of us are getting too many of these dopamine hits on a daily basis. In the United States, 
added sugars account for 14% of the average person's calorie intake daily. And this is far from the amount of sugar that our ancestors ate for their appropriate amount of energy consumption. Sugar was scarcer and harder to find for the past generations. The desire for sugar and sweet foods is programmed by natural selection in our brain. There is an increasing body of research that consuming excess sugar can be as addictive as cocaine and that it also has similar effects on the brain. Sugar and the human body. Now that we know how sugar affects the brain, what about the rest of the human body? Since 1989, the World Health Organization has been cautioning people to reduce their intake of free sugars to less than 10% of their digested calories. The problem is that manufacturers add sugar to these items in order to increase flavor and extend their shelf life. But if we aren't conscious of what is in our food and actively adapt our taste buds, we can consume too much and ultimately suffer the consequences. Consuming too much sugar can lead to a myriad of health problems, like obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. According to Dr. Frank Hu at Harvard School of Public Health, excess sugar's impact on obesity and diabetes is well documented. But one area that may surprise many men is how their taste for sugar can have a serious impact on their heart health. Dr. Hu's research study on excess sugar and heart disease concluded that the higher the intake of added sugar in one's diet, the higher their risk of heart disease. The reason is that when you consume excess sugar, the extra calories are stored as triglycerides. Triglyceride is simply a type of fat in your blood, consisting of glycerol and three fatty acids. It provides energy for your body, however, High triglyceride levels can increase the risk of heart disease. To manage this, one should focus on a healthy diet and exercise. How sugar affects heart health continues to be researched, but it is well known how sugar affects the liver and therefore indirectly impacts the heart. Our liver metabolizes sugar like it does alcohol, converting carbohydrates into fat and fatty liver disease raises one's risk for heart disease. A recent study in the United Kingdom suggested that each 5% increase in the share of a person's total energy intake that comes from free sugars was associated with a 6% higher risk of heart disease and a 10% higher risk of stroke. So what should we do? The American Heart Association suggests that women should consume no more than six teaspoons of sugar and men no more than nine teaspoons of sugar per day. That is about the amount in a 12 ounce can of soda. Walter Willett, a professor of epidemiology and nutrition at Harvard University said, avoiding sugar sweetened beverages is probably the single most important thing that we can be doing. But there is one thing for sure that we shouldn't avoid, and that is sleep. Check out our video on the screen to see what will happen to you if you decide to skip sleeping.